Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lori at Lori R Creations. Today I'd like to show you how I made this milk bottle farmhouse decoration. These are the supplies that I used. So I bought this package of wood slats at my local craft store. It was on special sale for around $2.50. I bought the multi-pack because I intend to make a lot more of these wood holders, so this will work out great for me financially. But uh, we're only going to use one for one for the base of the project at this time. It measures uh, seven and a quarter inch by two and thirteen sixteenth inches by one quarter inch wide. We're also going to use uh, a 3 8 inch by 36 inch piece of the square poplar wood. I also got this at the craft store and it was under a dollar as well. I'm not going to be using this whole piece so I'll be able to use it in another project. Also a 1 uh, eighth inch by 1 inch by 24 inch piece of basswood slat. Uh, this also came from the craft store and cost me about a dollar. All this wood that you're seeing, you can get at either Hobby Lobby, Michaels, um, any local craft store. I don't know, you might even be able to find it at Walmart. Uh, but I wanted to share with you that these are about a dollar each. I'm also going to use two Dollar Tree glass milk bottles and one roll of the Dollar Tree twine. Now the Dollar Tree twine comes in a three pack if you find it in the, it's like in the tool section. Um, I'm just gonna use the brown for this project. Some white chalk paint, uh, a foam paintbrush, and some stain. Now note that if you want to paint this instead of using stain, I would suggest you wait until your box is fully assembled to paint it. That way the glue will adhere the two pieces of wood together. Uh, the paint will kind of make not a very good surface for the paint to adhere to. Um, the stain isn't so bad because it soaks into the wood and then we wipe it off. So it, it does a better job of uh, putting that stain on before you glue it than after. Now, other items I used in the making of this project were a glue gun, paper towels, some sandpaper, a small handsaw, pencil, and scissors. So using the white chalk paint, I painted the milk bottles, giving them two coats, and I let the paint dry in between coats. Now, I used this special uh, chalk finish paint for a glass that I found, but if you can't find this, you can use whatever chalk paint you have on hand. Now, once dry, I used my sandpaper block and I lightly distressed the bottles where the lettering was raised and where the symbols were. And I also distressed along some of the edges of the bottle. So here's how my bottle looked after I distressed it. Then I wrapped uh, some twine several times around the top of the bottle right underneath the opening, and then I glued the ends in place. So I wanted to distress the bottles a little bit more and give them just a, a tad bit more distressing on the front where the lettering was. So I took a small amount of some light gray paint that I had on hand, and I took my brush, dabbed it in the paint, and then kind of took off some of the excess on a paper towel. Then I lightly brushed it over some of the spots where I had sanded. Now to make my wood box, I used this bottom, the larger slat for my base. And I cut four pieces of the square poplar that measured about two and three eighth inches long. Then I cut four of the basswood slats. I measured out seven and an eighth inch long for each of those. Then I also did four more pieces, but they only measured two and seven sixteenth inches long. These are all the side pieces. So these are all my cut pieces right here of wood that I used. Now I did sand the edges lightly from where I cut out to make them even. They were a little bit jagged from the saw, so I just kind of sanded it off a little bit. 
So at this point then I used the stain and I stained all the sides of all the pieces. And after I stained, I wiped off the excess with a paper towel. Now, if you're going to paint your piece, you should probably wait until the very end after everything is glued together and then do your paint. So here's what everything looked like before assembly. On the right hand side, you can see the bottles were dry and then all the wood. So now I take my glue gun and I take those four square small pieces. Those are gonna be what holds everything together. So I glue those down onto the big, large, flat slat and I make sure I leave enough room so that when I put the sideboards on they all come even inside uh, on the board um, so you're not gonna put these all the way out to the edge of your bottom piece you're gonna knock it in just a little bit so that you have room to put your slide side pieces as you can see up in the top picture And so then I start adding my side pieces. And what I did was I didn't run any glue down the length of the baseboard. What I did was I only put the glue on the four corner pieces where I was putting the slats. That hold, that's enough to hold these pieces together. Now, the first row I had put on, I put on all the way down against the bottom slat. Uh, the bottom slat board, the base, and then the top pieces, I made those even with the tops of the corner pieces. So this is what it looks like once every, everything was together. You can see how everything lines up and it's straight. So then I wanted to distress my box a little bit, so I took my sandpaper and I distressed just the edges on some of the boards. I was done. So at this point, once everything was done and put together, I added some Dollar Tree floral that I had lying around and I thought it turned out pretty cute. So I hope you guys give this project a try. It's relatively easy and like I said, I'm going to make more of these for my home and uh, th these are actually going in my guest bathroom. I really do appreciate that you guys watch my channel. So uh, I will be posting videos. Right now it seems like it's going about every week that I'm posting something. So keep an eye out. I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, again, I'm Laurie at Laurie R Creations.